If you're all in agreement, we'll be contrary. This is the good old method of cooling things. But science says, tut tut, that's much too crude, and presents the modern housewife with the refrigerator. Now, if she wants to keep something cool, she heats it. It's the flame that freezes. And that's the burner. Eau de Cologne, or any similar spirit, is a great absorber of heat. And the more heat it absorbs, the quicker it evaporates. When the spirit vanishes, the hand is left quite cold. In the same way, liquid ammonia evaporates into hydrogen. So watch this diagram. In order to vaporize or boil, the ammonia draws all the heat possible from its surroundings. And there, briefly, you have the secret of the refrigerator. When the hydrogen gets saturated with ammonia vapor, the freezing stops. So it becomes necessary to supply fresh ammonia and hydrogen. A steady flow replaces the old inert mixture, and the gas or oil flame causes it to flow through the whole refrigerating system. The flame heats the liquid in the boiler tube, and the combined ammonia and water vapor rises and flows through a number of other tubes, as shown. By way of the vapor cooler and water separator, it eventually reaches the condenser. The ammonia is now condensed and flows along to the evaporator. There, together with a supply of pure oxygen gas, it's pumped in. At the same time, the old mixture is pumped out. Up against such fearful odds, the evaporator freezes. The cabinet is insulated with pressed cork. This makes any leakage of heat a very slow process. The latest insulation material is aluminium foil on waxed corrugated cardboard. Ah, that tastes good. Now, what about a nice cool drink served by a nice cool waitress from a nice cool fridge? Here it is, and jolly good service too. Skin off your nose. Well, he's dashed. Why can't these so-and-so people be careful not to put their goods in the so-and-so ice chamber? And now for...